So this is my view, I don't know if you can see, but you are looking at a volcano. What's up, P-Nation? Today we are taking you back in time to our food-filled trip in Greece. We spent almost three weeks there touring lots of different islands, starting in Athens and ending in Naxos, and we ate so many different dishes, and we had a lot of questions coming to us about which was our favorite or which were the ones that you should eat when you go. So we compiled a list of our top six favorite dishes that we tasted while we were there, and we think you should try when you go to Greece. And now time to start that island life. Let's roll the Greek music. fair share of relaxing, visiting with street cats, and of course eating everything we could. We ate and we ate and we ate, but there are things that stood out above others. While everything you can order in this country is surely to be delicious, and it is, let's dive into what you need to look out for. First on the list, kalori, or sesame bread ring, very similar to a bagel. You can find these being sold all day on the streets of Athens, usually for one euro. It is a simple and tasty traditional snack or breakfast. And it's just, I think it's just dough that's like cooked and it's got tons of sesame seeds on it. And most Greeks eat it for breakfast, but you can find them all day long. It's better than I expected it to be. Really. It's kind of sweet. And the sesame seeds give it their sesame seed flavor. It's nice. It's actually quite squishy. The second thing we're trying is Greek salad. So everybody knows of Greek salad, and the Greeks know that you've heard of Greek salad. So Greek salad actually doesn't have any lettuce in it. You can go places, and I'm just thinking if it has lettuce in it, it's not a real Greek salad. But they know you want it, so it's a little bit more expensive than those salads you can order here. But it's good. Okay, I just had an olive and they're really good. And I realized what makes this salad so wonderful is that every flavor is so pungent. The onions are fresh, the feta is very strong, and then the olives are just... So our third suggestion is to create the feta and bread picnic. You can't find better chunks of feta cheese than from the market. Paired with bread and honey, it is so good. Got some feta cheese that we're gonna enjoy with the view of the Acropolis in the background. And not only do we get feta cheese, we got a little white wine too. <laughs> Sweet, salty, carby. Carby. Delicious. I feel like if Rick Steves was here, he'd be very proud of us. Greek on a budget. So what'd you get? Moussaka. Ugh, so Greek. Moussaka had to make the list. It is a delicious staple on every Greek menu. It will fill you up and warm your heart. Okay, so for those of you who are unfamiliar with moussaka, it's just like lasagna, except it has potatoes and eggplant in it. Instead of cheese, it has bechamel sauce. The bechamel sauce is so creamy. I'm used to cheese on lasagna, and I'm used to like al dente pasta on lasagna, but this is so soft altogether. It's like a casserole almost. Very creamy, very cinnamony, <laughs> some allspice in there as well. It's really good. Number five, ouzo. So ouzo is pretty much like a liqueur. If it touches water, it starts to get milky, and so I just poured it on ice, which is like water. So <laughs> this is really cool. Anyway, so ouzo can only be called ouzo if it's made in Greece. It is like practically Greece's like fried liqueur. And so it's in like an anise flavored liqueur. So let's see what this tastes like. It tastes like licorice. <laughs> wow, it's so strong. So not only is it flavored with anise, it's flavored with like coriander and like allspice. I just read. It's pretty good. It's very strong. Oh, and it's very strong. By this point, we've said how much we've loved Greece a lot. But just like our trip, this list must come to an end. Number six, sardines. So sardines are like on every single Greek menu. And they're so common that it's like just a very traditional dish. And what I think is really cool about them is that they're served in the like most basic restaurants and in like the most high establishment restaurants. So they're like a dish that's right in between, you know, like 
it's traditional Greek culture, so the poor can enjoy them. But it's so invested in the culture that even like the rich love them too. This is not your sardines in a can. This is like really good fish with a slightly crunchy aspect to it. It's the little bones inside that are absolutely 100% edible. It's really good. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you got a couple ideas of dishes you want to try when you're there or dishes you would like to try from making them at home. Making this video made me really, really hungry. I miss Greece so much. We had such a good time while we were there. It's one of the countries I've always wanted to go to. And Zach was a little skeptical when I made us go there for like almost three entire weeks on our trip. But I don't think he was very disappointed. Yes, I thought it was gonna be super expensive, but it's not as crazy expensive as you think it is because you can stay in many different places because there are thousands of islands. And most of all, it is the most delicious place on earth. Is there, is there Greek music in this? Yeah. Roll the Greek music. <laughs>